Hi, this is Artifacts of Mars, and I'm going to bring you a tale of two anti-American colleges. In, at Loyola University in Maryland, university officials uh, apparently leaned on their students really hard to not have an American-themed party. Some seniors sing... They do this every year. But listen to this. Student government leaders at Loyola University of Maryland faced a barrage of pressure from the university's administration and changed the theme of a senior class party described as very alienating, divisive, and harmful and against the university's core values, according to emails provided to the Daily Caller. The theme? America. The theme for Loyola's annual Senior 200s party, one of four celebrations exclusive to seniors held throughout the year, was based on a survey of Loyola, Loyola seniors taken last summer. The party was held on November 18th and went off without a hitch, and according to the students who attended, despite warnings, that administration might have to get involved if students were offended. They might have to get involved if they're offended. Tell them to go back where they came from if they don't like it, or if they're uh, here legally, if they're Americans, tell them to mind their own business. Emails sent to student government Representatives were provided to the D.C. Daily Caller on a condition of anonymity. Multiple student government representatives confirmed the email's authenticity on condition of anonymity for fear of retaliation from the college administration. Right before the presidential election, some student government members wondered if they should nix America's theme. Donald Trump won, according to internal SGA. Group chats shared with DC on condition of anonymity for the same reason. One representative claimed that if Trump wins, it will be bad, while another argument it will be wrong to change party theme simply because of disagreement with the president elect's policies. The party is still on. The day after Trump's victory, a handful of students messaged SGA representatives to argue that because of Trump's victory, an American team party was not only inappropriate. That's weird. One female student claims she was a victim of horrible hate words and wondered if similar things might be said at the party if the theme wasn't changed. University's executive vice president, Susan Donovan, sent an email to two SGA members claiming she talked to a number of students and heard from faculty members about party. None of it is positive. It sounds very alienating, divisive, and harmful. Well, this is a leftist, pink, commie, anti-American. Oh, boy, I want to say it. I better not. I encourage you to reconsider this plan and why the legitimate concerns by, raised by so many. You mean the anti-American concerns, which you say are legitimate. Donovan went on to say we have made progress in providing welcoming camp, climate on campus and we want to reverse that progress with the team that divides us. So, here we have a college that is Basically, a leftist pink little commie thing. They're anti American. The administration is anti American. I've said before, and I stand by it. I said these are not Americans. I stand by that. You will not get me off that. So, we'll take a look at the second one. So, meanwhile, in Massachusetts, the American flag has been banned at Hampshire College. The Massachusetts College is removing the American flag from 
campus stays after election, someone burned the American flag at Hampshire College in Amherst. Well, the solution to that is you expel them and prosecute them. You have them arrested, they go to jail. That's the solution. That's not, that's called vandalism. That's a punishable offense. The school then put up a new flag and lowered it to half staff in solidarity with those fearing the Donald Trump presidency. Which uh, shows the mental defect of the people running Hampshire College in Amherst, Massachusetts. These people are not Americans. I'm going to say it one more time. And I stand by this. I'm not going to change it. I'm not going to change my position on this. So you leftists just get bent. These are anti-American. They are not Americans, and they do not deserve to call themselves Americans. I've said that before about a lot of these uh, cities that have these people in them. And I say it again. These are not Americans. School then put up a new flag and lowered it half staff in solidarity with those fearing a Donald Trump presidency. They should not have done that. That sparked a backlash from those who see the flag as a symbol for all that is great about America. I would think so. School leaders have decided to remove it completely. If we can remove the conflict over the symbol and get the real issues underneath, then there will be a chance for real learning, said the communist. Jonathan Lash, president of Hampshire College. The reaction on campus to the decision to remove the flag has been mixed. Uh, here's one person. If it was used as a symbol to ostracize people, it, but it also stands, I also stand with people. The student said, as a son of a veteran, I recognize the value of the flag as a symbol for the country and what it can stand for. By the way, I do a lot of paraphrasing, so I don't necessarily read verbatim. I, that's intentional. If our uh, president is Donald Trump, I don't think any school, especially this school, should really support his ideas by raising the flag, a student said. I've seen her. This is a, another communist. They've been led down the trail of communism by these anti-American schools. School may eventually fly the American flag again, but in the meantime, focus on deep and meaningful conversations over what is what the red, white, and blue really stands for. Incomplete sentence. Uh, well. We know what it stands for, and we also know what you, Mr. Jonathan Lash, stand for, and it's not American values. You hate freedom. You hate America. You hate representative government. And you two colleges, Loyola and Hampshire College, you are a disgrace to this country. Both of you. Especially Hampshire, because they actually uh, put this into action and manned old glory, and that gets my blood boiling. You are communists. You hate freedom. You hate representative government. You hate America. So, uh, Mr. Jonathan Lash, when do you uh, move to North Korea? You'd uh, fit right in there. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.